Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the third Sunday of Advent, and we are looking at Ezra, and we're for the narrative lectionary, and the chronological, chronological jump between the last week and this week is quite, a, quite big, as Luther Seminary's commentary points out. But where I'm really focusing on this one is the last verse that there is joyful shouting and there is weeping and they are such at, at great volumes that far away they can't tell one from the other. And it, there's something about that that just resonates with me about real life. Um, there are times where we are absolutely sad and grieving and there are times that we are joyful and um, singing praise, and it goes back and forth, and and throughout this text, this idea that there's this, um, there is this praising God, but I like, I don't know if like is the right word. What resonates as real for me is that it's both and. As as Lutherans, we say we're both and saint and sinner. We are captive and free. We're we're both and. And this idea that we're pulled back and forth. And it's true. It's like we're joyful. And in the same breath, we can be weeping, especially as if we're looking at the church as being the body of Christ, that when we gather, um, we're not all in the same place. There's some, I mean, mentally, I'm thinking, and, and emotionally, we're all in the same building. Maybe not we're all, maybe we're not all in the same building, but this idea that because my neighbor is happy doesn't mean that I necessarily have to be happy. I can be sad and that's okay. Um, and this idea that we are called together to walk um, as the body of Christ um, and that's a good thing to be in this in this direction. I, I think of what Susan Briel, uh, who was campus pastor at PLU a few years ago and uh, and great, uh, great liturgy writer and a preacher, and just I love her. And she talks about how when someone would come into her office and say, I can't, I don't know if I can pray, or I don't know if I can recite all the words of the creed. And she said, well, you don't have to recite them all, or you don't have to hold them all up, because your neighbor is going to hold the ones that you can't hold up that way. I mean, so as we as the body of Christ, I might not be able to say, um, I believe, um, you know, I, I'm struggling with creation. I might say, I have a hard time with, uh, you know, that the, how, how it says that God created or, you know, I mean, all these things. I'm just pulling straws here about the things that we might struggle with, the virgin birth, uh, and all of these things um, that, that Christ is coming back. I'm, I'm struggling with these things hypothetically, I don't know where I'm at on a lot of that, but the idea is that my neighbor can say some of those things pretty securely and while I struggle with some, and I might be able to say some of those things pretty securely and pretty uh, firm, and my neighbor might struggle. My neighbor might be going through a time of weeping, and I might be going through a time of joy, and I can sit with my neighbor in that time of weeping. and. Um, and be strength for that person. We go back and forth. So I like that end part of Ezra because of that. And kids get the idea that their friends might hurt and their friends might, um, might struggle. There's a movie that came out a number of years ago called Searching for Bobby Fischer. And it's a story about Josh Waitzkin who is a, well, a young grandmaster in chess. And there's a great scene when when, jo uh, when um, Josh and a friend of his, they're about the same age, and they met playing chess, as they're walking in the courtyard and they're talking about chess and his, Josh's friend had lost, and they're having this conversation, and Josh says, can I let you in on a secret? Now, they're about the same age. One's maybe a year younger than his friend, is a, maybe a year younger than him, but Josh goes, can I let you in on a little secret? You are a much you are a much stronger player than I was when I was your age, and we all go ah, and we chuckle a little bit. But there's this so a truth there that those words can just in, 
encompass, can, can wrap the arms around the friend and say, I hear you in your pain. Josh had just won and had just done really, really well. And to be able to sit with his friend, it's a beautiful scene. Great movie. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. Searching for Bobby Fischer. It's a great film for the entire family. Um, but that's, that's, I mean, that's my focus. And so I might use, I might use a tissue to talk about weeping. I might talk about, um, I might have something that makes me happy or something that symbolizes being happy. It might be I might have a smiley face and I might have tissue. And what do those things say? Or I always, I, I like going back to the godly play question. I wonder, I wonder what, I wonder what you would do if you were in that town and you had people that were sad and you had people that were happy. People that were sad and people that were joyful. People that were mourning and, 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 and struggling and people, and ask the question, I wonder, what do you think happened? What would you do? And it's a question that opens it up for the kids to say, um, to give the, uh, to have that conversation. So anyway, I hope this can be a springboard for your own thinking. I'm going around and, uh, and but this is a rich text with such deep human emotion and, um, and lifting up and then it mixed in there is the praise of God. Hope this can be a springboard for your own thinking. I forgot to mention last week, if you like this, like it and subscribe. If you are watching this on YouTube, there's the DS Kids Sermons. That's the website where I post everything. You can take a look at there. And again, I hope your Advent season is blessed. And thank you so much for stopping by.